Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, we're going to graph circles. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's start. Okay, so here, I'm going to give you two examples on how to graph a circle. Okay, so one is in standard form and then the other one is in general form. Okay, yung equation of a circle. Alright? Okay, so let's start. So here, this is the standard form of the equation of a circle. Right? Okay, so ano nga ba yung standard form? Let us recall. Ito yung standard form. It is um, x uh, minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Okay? So, to graph a circle, you need to find the center and the radius. Okay? Kasi tapos madali na. Madali nang mag-graph yung circle. So, here, kapag daw meron kayong standard form, the center, okay, has coordinates h, k. Okay? And then, your radius is r. Okay? Kung sino yung nandito. Nan in square, yun yung radius. Okay? So, now, Ito yung meron tayo. Ano kaya yung H at ano yung K? Okay, dito na natin ilagay. Okay, so here you have X plus 1 squared. Hindi minus, kasi dapat minus. Tapos yung katabi ng minus, yun yung H ninyo. Okay, so you may want to write this as, dito na lang, X minus a negative 1 squared. Okay? Tinan nyo, x plus 1 pa rin yan. Okay? Para mapakita ko sa inyo na ang h ay equal sa negative 1. Okay? So, you have a negative 1 here. Okay? And then, what about your k? y minus k. So, y minus, eto na yung k mo, 2. Okay? So, you have um, coordinates for the center. Okay? Kung ayaw nyo to, this one, Pwede nyo namang isipin na kung plus 1 ang nakikita nyo dito, negative 1 ang gagamitin ninyo. Okay? Kapag negative 2 ang nakikita nyo dito, positive 2 naman ang gagamitin nyo as the y coordinate. Okay? Pwede yon. Basta huwag nyo kakalimutan. Okay? Okay. What about the radius? Okay? Maraming batang nagkakamali dito. Kasi akala ang radius ay 9. No. Ang 9, that's your r squared. Okay? Let me write here. Eh, no? Okay? Yung r squared, eto yung 9. So, to finally get r, you get the square root of 9. Okay? Actually, ang tamang sagot dyan, positive negative square root of 9. Pero, there's no negative radius. So, that's why we consider only the positive square root of 9. And what is the square root of 9? It's 3. So, the radius is 3. Now, we know the center and the radius. This is how we um, graph the circle using the center and the radius. First, we plot the center. Okay, it's negative 1, 2. So, where is it? Negative 1, tapos 1, 2. So, this point is the center. Now, how do we use this? Sabi dito, the radius is 3. Ganito lang yon. So, Measure kayo ng 3 units sa kanan, sa kaliwa, sa taas, at sa baba. Okay, kunyari, oh, sige, sa kanan muna, measure tayo ng 3. 1, 1 unit. Ito, dito, pwede naman dito kayo mag-start. Ayun, katapat niya. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so dito. Okay, tinan nyo, 1, 2, 3. So here. Okay, saan pa? Sa left naman. 1, okay, 2, Tinatapat ko dito, ha? Okay? 3. So, dito. Okay? Tapos sa taas naman. Di lang din kayo ng 3. Um, 1, 2, 3. So, dito. Okay? And then, sa baba naman. So, here. Um, 1, 2, 
three here. And then you make a circle passing through this um, four points. Okay? To create a circle. Or you may want to use this one. Anong tawag dyan? A compass. So this is the circle represented by this equation. X plus 1 squared plus Y minus 2 squared equals 9. Okay? So again, if you're given a standard form of the equation of a circle, madali na kasi madaling makuha ang center. Okay? And then, it's easy also to get the radius. So let's have naman an example where the given equation is in general form. So here's an example of the general form of an equation of a circle. Okay, let us recall the general form of the equation of a circle. Diba? It's like this. x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f equal to 0. Okay? So, ganito ang itsura ng general form of the equation of a circle. Okay? So, ibang-iba ito doon sa standard form. Right? Okay. So, again, to graph a circle, we need the center and the radius. Okay? I'm going to teach you two methods here on how to get the radius in the center. Okay? Let's start with the yung palagi yung nakikita. Okay? By completing the square. By, so let me write, by completing the square. Okay? So, ganito lang yon Okay? So, una, pagsasamasamahin nyo yung may mga x, tapos, pagsasamasamahin nyo yung may mga y. And then, yung constant, ibig sabihin, walang x, walang y, ililipat nyo sa kabila ng equation. Alright? So, let me do that. So, we have x squared. Okay? I-group natin. Okay? Plus 8x. So, magka-group na yan. Okay? You leave a space here kasi may gagawin tayo dito. Okay? Plus y squared minus 6y. Okay? Plus, you leave a space kasi may gagawin tayo dito. Okay? Equals positive 39. Okay? You transpose this to the other side. Now, ilalagyan na natin to ng numbers. Okay? So, ano yung ilalagay nating numbers? Ganito yon, Okay? Tingnan nyo ang coefficient ni x. Okay? Kasama yung sign. So, positive 8. You divide this by 2. So, what is 8 divided by 2? You'll get 4. And then, you square it. What is 4 squared? 16. So, you add 16. Kapag nag-add kayo ng 16 dito, you also add 16 here. Why? Because we have to maintain the equality. Okay? Diba? Kung equal sila, kapag nagdagdag ka dito, hindi na sila magiging equal. So, dapat magdagdag ka rin sa kabila. By addition property of equality. Okay, next. Here naman. Ano yung ilalagay ko dito? Ano yung katabi ni y? Negative 6. O, divide it by 2. Negative 6 divided by 2, you will get negative 3. Right? O, what is negative 3? Squared. You will get positive 9. Pag nag-add ng 9 dyan, mag a din sa kabila. Okay? And then, we simplify. Okay? Completing the square kasi magiging perfect square trinomial itong mga to. Alright? So, ito magiging um, x plus 4 squared. Yeah. Kapag in-expand mo to, ito yung magiging sagot. Paano ko nalamang 4 ito? Kung ano yung sagot kapag yung 8 divide ko sa 2. Alright? Tapos, plus y Minus 3 squared. Paano ko nalaman naman na ganito? Minus 3. Kung anong sagot sa negative 6 kapag dinivide ko ito by 2. So, you have negative 3. Okay? Okay. So, equals. Uh, you add them. What do you get? You will get 64. Okay? So, what do you notice? 
Okay, after completing the square, ibig sabihin naging perfect square trinomials ito. Okay, naging ganito. Okay, after doing that, after completing the square, we now have the standard form of the equation of the given circle, right? So, we can easily get the center, right? And the radius. Sige nga, anong center? Kapag nakikita nyo positive 4, gawin nyo negative 4. Okay? Kung nakikita nyo dito para negative 3, gawin nyo positive 3. Yan na yung center. Okay? What about the radius? Is it 64? No. You get the square root of 64. You will get 8. Okay? So, ready na kayo mag-plot. Okay? Or mag-graph ng circle. Again, Locate the center. So, where is that? Negative 4, 3. So, niliitan ko kasi medyo malaki yung uh, numbers na involved. So, maliliit ang scaling ko. So, negative 4. 1, 2, 3. Ito yung negative 4. Okay? And then, positive 3. 1, 2, 3. So, somewhere here. Right? Okay. So, nandito ang center ng... Circle. Tapos, anong sabi ko sa inyo? Count kayo ng 8 units sa kanan. Count kayo ng 8 units sa kaliwa. 8 units sa taas. Okay? And 8 units sa baba. And then, you try to make a circle passing through all those 4 points. Alright? Okay? Or again, you may use this. Okay? Alright? So, let's do it. So, I'm going to count 8 units. Okay? So, dito na lang siguro sa side na to. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, kalain nito 8 dito. Okay? After using the compass, I'm going to have this circle. Okay? So, now, what is the other method? How do we get the center and the radius without completing the square? Okay? Let me give you another method. Okay? Here, I'm going to give you a formula. A formula to get the center and the radius of a circle without completing the square if the given is the general form. Okay? So, let me give you the formula. So, to get the center, okay, this is the formula. Negative d over 2. This is the x coordinate. The y coordinate is negative e over 2. Yeah? Oh, sige, apply natin dito. Okay? Sige nga, ito yun, know, x squared plus y squared plus dx. Ito yung d. Okay? Sabi dito, negative of d divided by 2. So, let me write. Negative d divided by 2. Okay? What about our E? Ito yon, The coefficient of Y. Kasama yung sign, ha? Negative 6. So, we write negative, you know, negative of E. So, negative of, what is our E? Negative 6 divided by 2. Kita nyo? If you simplify, what is negative 8 divided by 2? It is negative 4, right? What is negative of negative 6? Positive 6 divided by 2, you will get 3. Okay? This is the center. Kapareho ng center dito. Yeah? Okay? So, all you have to do is to memorize this formula. But if you don't like memorizing, please make sure that you know how to do the completing the square. Okay? Now, what about the radius? What is the formula in getting the radius? It is the square root of d squared plus e squared minus 4f. Okay? And then, divided by 2. Okay? Oh, mag-substitute tayo. This is equal to, that's the radius, alright? So, the square root of, what is d? Ayun yun, d. Okay, 8. So, you have 8 squared plus, what is E? Negative 6. So, you have negative 6 squared minus 4 
times F. What is F? Kasama yung sign, ha? Negative 39. Okay? Tapos, divided by 2. Okay? So, please do the math. Okay, here, you should be getting 8. Dapat kapareho nito. Okay? And yes, you may verify that. See? So, it's up to you which one works best for you. Okay? Completing the square or by using a formula. Alright? Okay, so let me give you three um, extra examples. These are special examples. Okay? So, so yeah, let's call them special examples. Okay? What if you have like this? X squared plus y squared equals 100 okay this is written in standard form if this is written in standard form what is h and what is k okay kasi the radius is obviously not 100 huh 10 right what about the center where is hk ito we can write this as x minus 0 Squared, right? Kasi x minus 0, x. And then you square it, x squared. Same here. y minus 0 squared, right? And then you 100, then squared. Okay? So, if you have like this, ganitong ganito, x squared plus y squared equals a number. Okay? So, automatic ang center i 0, 0. Okay? So, let me write. The center here is 0, 0, and then the radius is equal to 10. Alright? Okay. Eh, paano pa ganito? Sige, isa pa. X minus 1 squared plus Y minus 2 squared equals 0. What do you notice? Meron kayong center, right? May center kasi written in um, standard form. Okay? You have your H and you have your K. So, the center is, anong sabi ko sa inyo? Pag negative ang nakikita nyo dito, positive ilalagay nyo. Here, negative ulit, positive ang ilalagay ninyo. So, that's the center. What about the radius? The radius is 0. Okay? So, if you have like this, ang graph nito, it's just a point. Right? Kasi wala siyang radius eh. It's zero. Okay? So, it's just a point. The graph of this is a point. Ang tawag doon, degenerate circle. Okay? So, it's just a point. Point? One, two. Okay? Ilolocate nyo lang yung center, tapos wala na siyang... Um, hindi na siya lalaking circle kasi zero ang radius niya. Okay? Uh, let's have this third example. X plus 1 squared plus Y plus 2 squared equals negative 9. Okay? Kapag ganyan, may mali dyan. Okay? Kasi, eto o, Okay, you have a negative number here. Okay? So, parang sinasabi dito, r squared is equal to negative 9. Kasi ito yung r squared, di ba? x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Ito daw yun. Saan ka nakakita na yung isang number, kapag in-square ko, ni-raise ko sa 2, negative ang sagot. Diba walang ganun? It's either zero or positive lamang. Walang negative. Okay? So, ang sagot dito, walang circle na mapoform. Okay? Ganun la. Okay, I think that's it. So, I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.